Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Station to Station, which is a gorgeous voxel art game about building railway connections. So really, it's a game about playing with trains, and yes, absolutely sign me up. I am on board with that pun entirely intended. So we have a number of different locations around a very, very lovely map. I mean, look at it, it's really, really pretty. And we can connect these locations up with train tracks, and when we do, the locations improve. Everything gets better, things get more vibrant and exciting and colourful, trees grow and animals appear and new buildings pop up. It just sounds wonderful. We play with trains and we make everything colourful and happy. What is not to like about that? Now this is the demo of the game and it's on Steam right now as I record this. As always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description where you can go and take a little look and also play the demo if that's what you want to do. But anyway, time to get on with it, I think. All aboard, let's go and play. Play with trains. Okie doke, here we go, level one, and the goal is to complete all 12 buildings. Okay, I think we can muddle through with that, but I mean, look at that, that's really pretty. It's really lovely to look at a little kind of voxel windmill made of tiny, tiny little blocks, really teeny, tiny little blocks. It's very lovely. And also, we've got that kind of macro lens type thing on as well. So this bit here's all blurred and that's blurred, which makes that look like a little sort of toy type thing. It's like we're playing with these sort of teeny tiny building blocks. Not quite Lego, even smaller than Lego possibly. I imagine really teeny tiny little kind of building block things. But okay, it's very lovely. Let's go and see if we can complete 12 buildings. How do we go about doing that game? So what do we have to do? Oh crikey, the map is quite big. Okay, yep, we can move about, that's fine. Okay, yep, we can move about with the mouse and we can rotate and we can zoom. Okay, right, that's all fine. We can do that, yep, we got the zoom sorted game. Okay, hover over the building to see what it does. Okay, so we have a building over there as well. That's a wheat farm. Okay, I imagine the wheat farm might need to be connected up to the windmill, possibly. I imagine they might want to send their wheat to the windmill so they can turn it into lovely flour. Buildings need to be connected to a station. Press spacebar or the station button to place stations. Okay, I can't confirm that spacebar is pause, but I think that's okay in this game. I don't think we really need to have a pause. But okay, so spacebar is also very important though. It allows us to place stations. Okay, so spacebar, rotate the station with the scroll wheel and Z or X. Okay, so we need to put a station just there to connect up to that building. Okay, got that. Does it need to be a particular way round? Does it need to be that way round or the other way round? Hang on. I can't really see. Do you know what? We're going to put it that way round because that might possibly be the right way around. I don't really know, but we're going to pop that in like that. Okay, so we have our first station and then we need to start a new railroad, do we? Okay, so start a new railroad from that station. Okay, so, oh, hang on. Create a second station near the mill. Oh, hang on. I've, I've kind of got ahead of myself there. I haven't got to, I haven't got another station to connect to. Hang on a second. Hang on. Come out of that. Right. So space bar again, and we'll pop another station over there near the windmill. Okay. So pop that in like that. The mill requires wheat. That's kind of how they function. Click on the station connector to build a railroad to the wheat farm. Okay. So connect this up. So have we got to do that to each thing here. Hang on. So click on the station connector. So do we have to, uh, hang on, hang on. That's going to need to go round like that, isn't it? Is that going to need to go like that? Or like that? Apparently it's blocked. It's blocked by this. Ah, right. Okay. So what we might have to do is go like that and then kind of come round like that. Okay. So that's going to connect on that inside track. That's going to be fine, is it? Is, is that what we want it to do? So that can be like that. Okay. Uh, right. So this is, this is good. I think that's good. Oh, hang on. Freight train. Yeah, freight train. So connect that up with a freight train. Okay. Oh, and look, and the track sort of appears. And there we go, look. So the world is improving. It was this kind of drab, sort of over here, look. It's this kind of drab, greyish colour. I mean, it's not unpleasant, but it's a little bit lacklustre. And then you go over here, where we've done some work, and it's a bit more vibrant and a bit more exciting. And we have our first train. And that is gorgeous. This message is in the way, but okay, hang on. The mill received wheat and you got money. Receiving money also unlocks new buildings. Okay, right, hang on. So let's add some new buildings. Okay. Ah, right. More windmills are popping in. Right, so hover over the building again to see that it is completed. Okay, so right. That's wonderful. It's done. Each wheat farm can only supply one mill, so the new wheat farm needs to be connected to a different mill than the one you already used. 
Okay, so one mil can connect to... Oh no, hang on. Each wheat farm... Yeah, can only supply one mil. Okay, so that's done now. That little job is done. That train is going around. It's going to get wheat from there. And it's going to take it to the mill. And that's kind of it. So now these ones over here are going to need their own connections. They're going to need their own things. But can we just go and have a quick look at this, please? Can we go and have a look at the train? Because the train looks gorgeous. Look at that. I can't zoom in anymore, unfortunately, but that's really pretty. I'm going to try and get a decent angle. Look at that. That's really lovely. And it's got sort of things in the back and there's loads of detail on it. There's loads of detail. It's fabulous. Oh my goodness me, there's a, there's a dog. There's a dog at the wheat farm and it's got a kennel. The dog's got a kennel and a little dog water bowl. Okay, right. Game of the year right there. That's magnificent. And look, they've got windows with shutters. It's really pretty. There's been a lot of sort of love and care and devotion going into all of these individual kind of, you know, buildings and models and everything else. I mean, the train. The train's really lovely. Look at that. Lots of things all over it. It's got exciting red wheels. It's got wagons and things at the back for grain or whatever. I don't know. But okay, right. So that's good. That wheat farm is connected to that windmill over there. So now I imagine we have to go and connect these up. The game hasn't really sort of explicitly said, hey, go and do that, please. But I think that's what we have to do. So let's get that done. So I think, uh, yeah, can we just sort of rotate that round? Hang on, if we put it at an angle, put it at a jaunty angle like that. So we'll have that there. And then can we get another one over, say, there? Okay. And then can we just go, okay, start a new railroad from that, connect that up like that, and we'll have a freight train. Wonderful. It sends stuff from there to there. And the world gets a little bit more exciting. Look at that. It's gone a bit more green. It looks much better. There are little flowers over here now that are all colourful rather than being those sort of, you know, washed out colours there. That's wonderful. Okay, right. So click that to get some more buildings. So we do that and some more things are appearing. Okie dokes. And now we've got to connect... Uh, oh, crikey. Okay, that to that. Okay, so that's a little bit trickier. Not insurmountable, but it's a bit trickier because we have to go round a few corners. That one was nice and simple. Um, okay, it does feel like they're a little bit incomplete. It feels like they're a little bit incomplete, but okay, that's fine. The game's happy with that. So get another one of these in. We'll put that. Um, I think that's going to go... Oh, hang on, we can just put that right there, can't we? And then another one there. So it's 50 money to place one of these. I haven't really noticed the cost of that. So a station is $50, which seems very cheap for a train station, if I'm being completely honest. So pop that down like that. Start building from this location. Um, right, I don't want to build on there, that end, though, because that would be silly. I want to build from this end, please. Um, it's in Hang on. I'm going to go from... I, I shouldn't mean, mean the mill, not necessarily that node there. So I think if we just grab, say, that... Oh, hang on. Tricky terrain ahead. Control the direction of your railroad by clicking on the highlighted area. Okay, right, so we can build it in segments then. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We sort of worked that out. I was looking at showing us what we're going to destroy when we put the sort of the rail track over that way. So if we leave it, there's some rocks and a tree, I think. And then if we build it, we're going to blast some rocks and the tree out of existence. Okay, leave the tree there because yeah, that's nice. We like that. And then just a bit round like that connect that up and yes we shall have a freight train that is wonderful boop it goes into there we get paid and this bit of the world looks significantly jollier i do like the big wheat fields appearing they're really huge big fields but look even up here is a bit more colorful now that's nice right new buildings i imagine oh hang on we've got new things check the supply and demand of the new buildings okay that's a dairy farm so that needs nothing and it produces milk. That over there is a cheesery. Is that a word? Is that is that where they make cheese? Oh, okay, a cheesery. Okay, that's a cheesery. That's a fun word. That needs milk. And up there, oh, there are two cheeseries. We've got competing cheeseries. We've got upper cheesery and lower cheesery. This could be the tail of the cheeseries. Okay, so we need to connect those up. Oh, and down here, look, there's a little bit of a... Uh, a sort of a lovely thing showing us our progress. So six out of 12 buildings have been unlocked, sort of completed. Okay, that's good. That's good. Right, so get as a station. 
We'll put it like that, I think. We'll put it like that. So a station there. And then we're going to need a station. Oh, crikey. Okay. Up there. So I think we can build it there. Some of the tracks have gone red, but we don't need the tracks at that other end. So connect that or build that like that. And then have that like... Uh, push that over as far as we can. So that like that. Okay, so I think what we'll have to do is connect these up. I mean, lower cheesery is going to get first dibs on the milk. They're going to get the milk first. So you might need to wait a little while longer for your, for your milk upper cheesery. Um, so if we go like that, connect that to there with a freight train. Is that what we want? Oh, hang on. Do we have to do two? Oh, hang on, hang on. We don't want a freight train going between those two points. We want a freight train going between there and also there. Do we have to connect both of these lines? So that outside line, I think, might have to sort of come round. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Oh, we've built an exciting sort of mountain pass type thing. Oh, no, we'll have that. Yeah, that looks very exciting. Can we see what that looks like? Oh, that's very good. You might have to get your foot down there, train, to get up there. But look at that. Oh, I thought it was going to have to go all the way along. Sort of all the way along, round there and round there. But no, it does not. Okay, that's wonderful. Can we go and look at the cheesery? Can we look at the cheese, uh, cheesery? Oh, it's got little bits of cheese. <laughs> it's got little individual wheels of cheese going around. That is magnificent. That's where they keep the milk. Um, oh, yeah, look, there's the kind of the... I don't know they are, but you know, the milk churning sort of vats or whatever they would be. That's wonderful. Bit of smoke coming out there as well. That's very good. Okay, right. That's connected that up. And then from this end, we'll have... Let's use that other line, shall we? Let's use that and connect up like that. Look, have a freight train. And there we go. We sent some milk over to Lower Cheesery. Lower Cheesery can make some cheese as well. So now they're in direct competition. I mean, I don't know about you all, but I do prefer the cheese from Upper Cheesery. I'm not such a fan of the cheese from Lower Cheesery. Not quite as strong. They let the uh, they have more mature cheese at Upper Cheesery. Um, okay, so some more new buildings. They're going to appear. Okay, there are many buildings can be indirectly connected via multiple stations. Instead of directly connecting this cheesery to the dairy farm on the other side of the map, try connecting them both to a nearby other station on the network. Okay, right, so now we have to learn how to connect the network up and sort of you know, link it all together. So we have ourselves a dairy farm there, a cheesery there, and a cheesery there. Okay, there is much cheese going on now in this part of the world. Don't worry, upper cheesery, I still prefer your cheese. Um, I think then we connect that maybe to down there, and then we connect that to there, and then that up to there. Have we got the money to do that? I'm not entirely convinced. Okay, well, hang on a second. So get us a um, a train station over there because that has to have a station. And then from there, I think, hang on, bring that round like that. And then can we have a kind of curving round a little bit? There we go. That looks better. Right, so freight train on that, please. So lay the track down and a freight train will appear to go between there. And then if we connect that to there, uh, do we need another freight train? Uh, I don't really want... Oh, hang on. We'll just put another freight train. Okay, another freight train. And then connect that to... Oh, hang on. Nope, that hasn't got a station. Hang on. Kind of forgot about the important bit. Um, put that there. Station's a little bit wonkaloids, but that's okay. So then bring that to there. And that means that... Hey, you can see, actually, there's an icon there saying, yep, yeah, absolutely, that place can send milk to that cheesery there. Okay, so do that. And that means they're going to move the goods along. We get paid, and that becomes... Look at it, it's lovely and green. It becomes lovely and green. It's it's really exciting. I do like that. It sort of adds a bit of pizzazz to the game. I mean, it's quite nice as it is. It's quite nice as it is. If it was all sort of full colour and looked like this originally, it would be fine. I would really like it. But the fact that you can you know, make the place get better, you can change it. It feels like you're impacting the landscape with what you're doing. I do quite like that. Now, the only thing is... Kind of messed that up a little bit there, haven't I? I should have put that on that inside track. Ah, how are we going to sort that out? Because now that, we need to connect this up. Hang on a minute. So put that there and then connect that up to there. Okay, so connect that like... Oh, hang on. It goes through that station and back round. Oh, no, it's done. It's done. And there we go. That final bit of the world gets all lovely and green. And that was marvellous. Okay, look. 
Look at what we've done. We've made a beautiful map. Oh, hang on. There's cows. There's cows over in a field over there, look. There's cows. And they've got a little sort of a tiny kind of fence thing. And there's a feeding trough. And the cows just wander about. Hello. Oh, I, hang on a minute. I booped a cow. Hang on. It moves. It moves. That's brilliant. So I'm going to boop a cow. Can I boop a cow? I keep booping that cow in an inappropriate place. Can we boop you? Uh, yes, we can. Hang on. Hang on. Can we boop the dog? Just to play with the dog. I don't want anything bad to the dog. Where's the dog? Hello, dog. Can we boop the dog? This is the big question. Yes, we can. Oh, the dog sits. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Okay. That was wonderful. Right, let's go to the next. And so click to complete the level. Level completed. We completed 12 buildings. Big old tick. Okay. Money left. $951. Okay. Go to the next level. So I don't know if there are any three levels available in this demo. I'm not quite sure. There seem to be only three levels, but that's okay. That should take us a little while. That's a very exciting building. Again, I like things on the roof. That is... Is that a dairy farm? It's got a thing there. I don't know what that is. Okay, right. So goal, complete 12 burnings, bonus challenges, fund challenge, end the level with at least $200 left, special challenge, use a total of six cards. Ooh. Cards. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'm, I'm game. Game. What's happening with cards? Right. So another sort of you know, bleak landscape going on. So now we've got, well, we've got various buildings. So a cheesery and a dairy farm and a cheesery. Okay. So again, I mean, the people of this place do like some cheese and I'm with them that I do love a bit of cheese, but my goodness me, there's a lot of cheese going on. Um, and then we've got cheap rails. So rails cost half the regular price. Bridge price is unchanged consumes card on use click to toggle okay so i imagine we click that and then the next rails we build are going to be uh half price now do we save i don't know where the other things are going to appear on this map that to me looks like quite a long distance thing so it might be quite good to save a bit of money from there to there that to me does seem like a sensible thing hang on let's get a uh, station in there and then we'll get a station in uh, like that and then get a station in over here. Maybe just sort of like, and I want it to have both ways, just in case it has to sort of ping off somewhere. Uh, we'll put that at a jaunty angle like that. And then I think if we play cheap rails, so play cheap rails. And then if we go from there to there, that's going to sort that out. So the dairy thing over here can send stuff. I can send milk to that cheesery there and we'll do it on, hang on, can we do it? Um, oh no, I want to do it so it's, I don't want it to take up that. I want it to sort of cut further over. I want it to sort of go uh, there and then there, like that. There we go. Wonderful. And put a freight train onto that. So cheap rails goes away. So we've got half price rails on that. So we're down... What do we have early? We had a thousand. We had to put the three stations in. Uh, and then that's nice and easy. So we won't use a cheap rail thing on that. That can go to there. That can go like that. Put a freight train on it for 40 of your monies and boom. And it's all sorted. Right. Money comes back in. And this bit now looks lovely and green, which is marvellous. Right. So we get some more buildings. Okay. Some more buildings unlocked. Right. Okay. Back to... Oh, hang on. That's a new building. Press tab or hover over the complete level button to highlight incomplete buildings. Um, what does that mean? What, why, why are they incomplete? They, hang on, they produce cheese, right? Why are they incomplete, game? I'm not quite sure why they're incomplete. Oh, have we got, ah, I think we have to send the cheese somewhere. So the downward thing is going to be importing and the upward thing is going to be exporting. Okay, right, so yeah, so that there's a wheat farm. So the wheat farm needs to export the wheat and that's gone upward arrow and the windmill over there has to import the wheat to turn it into flour and that's got a downward arrow. Okay, that's fine. So around the cheeseries, they've got an upward arrow. So now they're making all this cheese, but nobody's eating the delicious cheese. So we need to get that over to, what's that there? A bakery. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting a town of some kind, but okay. Uh, and I think we get some more cards as well. Cheap bridges. Okay, cheap bridges, cheap rails. Okay, now what we might need to do is... Okay, so over here we've got a wheat farm and a mill. 
and then a bakery. So they all need to be connected. They need to be connected up. I think we won't use anything cheap. I mean, yeah, do they need a bridge? They should be able to go up like that, I think. So I think we'll connect it up like that in a little sort of, a little tiny loop. So how about we get a station there and then get another station. Uh, yeah, it might have to sort of point a little bit like that. So it's going up that kind of ramp. That's fine. And then get another station and put that there. So it's kind of on the other end of the ramp, ready to get connected up. And then we connect that. So that is our, hang on a second. That's the wheat farm. Okay, so job number one, connect the wheat farm to, hang on, bring that round like that. So connect the wheat farm to that and stick a freight train on it. That's okay. And then we want to connect that up here, hang on a minute, a bit like this, so like that, and like that possibly, like that, so that creates a great big kind of super connection, so they can send, look at that, that worked, so the wheat went into the mill, and then the flour from the mill went into the bakery over there, that is wonderful, okay, so progress 3 out of 12, that's looking pretty good, so now I imagine there's going to be a town at some point, there's going to be a big town in the middle somewhere because that's making bread and the cheeseries are making cheese, of course. That's kind of what they do. So I'm expecting there to be a town where we have to send all the goods that we're making. But, um, okay, hang on. Can we go and look at the bakery? We haven't really looked at the bakery yet and the, the building models are completely fantastic. Um, there's a train. Hello, train. Uh, okay, so we've got kind of a big stack going on. I assume that's like some big kind of you know, uh, bags of flour or whatever. Um, oh look, it's got like sliced bread across the top. You can see some bread over there. Oh, it's like a little cafe type thing. You can come and just you know, buy your bread and then just eat some bread right outside the bakery. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, right, lovely stuff. Right, let's do that. So new buildings unlocked. Uh, oh, right. What was that just there? Hang on. So that is a dairy farm and that there is a city. Okay, there we go. That's what we expected. I was kind of thinking it might be a little bit more central. It's kind of over here. Right, so a size one city needs bread and milk and cheese. Okay, this should be relatively simple. So those two things there, the cheeseries, they can just go right up next to the town. That's going to be fine. So if we just say, have a bit like that for the town, look. Hang on, is that connected? That is, oh, hang on, that's now connected. I didn't want to knock that house down. Can we go and look at the town? Can we look at the town, please? Um, come out of build, oh, no, I don't, no, come out of build mode. Um, I mean, that's quite, that's quite nice, is it? What's, oh, it's like a church. Ah, oh, right, I'm looking at it from the wrong way. That's a church. We've got some grey stones in the churchyard over there. That's very pretty. Um, I think the game is determined to make us put the train tracks down. Um, hang on, let's do that first, shall we? And then we'll come back and look at the fun thing. Right, if we put that there, that is 60 money. I think we can afford that, so that will connect the city up so they can get cheese, which is good. So if we do that, uh, you're about to create an expensive bridge. Use a cheap bridges card or route rails around cliffs using anchor points. Okay, I think then... Okay, so get rid of that. So maybe we bring that round bit like this look we drag it round a bit like that i mean it's a bit sort of circuitous but it's fine bring it round like that's 95 i feel like that's more expensive than the simple bridge we had unless do you know what the game did seem to sort of imply that we should um be using it so let's use cheap bridges uh 20 but yeah that's fine do that please right so that connects that up and that means the town has now got cheese because they're connected up. The two cheeseries are connected up. Um, we've got a dairy farm over there that makes milk. Um, I think, hang on. Uh, they produce, ah, right, the dairy farm produces two lots of milk, but one is going there to that cheesery and one's going there. So that's got no more milk. So we have to connect that one up. That's okay. We can cope with that. Let's pop that, pop that there. Because I suspect we're going to need to connect up to here at some point. So we'll have that like that. And then I think we might need to connect. Hang on. Connect that up like that. But on that one. Oh, hang on. 
I don't want a bridge, thank you. Let's not have a bridge because they are quite expensive. Like that. Can I loop that around like... Oh, that's... Uh, uh, bend, bend too tight. Oh, bother. Okay, right. No, not there then. Uh, oh, that's, that's, that's definitely not gone well. Hang on. Like that. And then like that. And then like that. Okay, so freight train on that, please. So that means they can send the bread over into the town. Okay, so we've got one kind of great big mega train line where they can move all the stuff about. That's good. And then connecting that station to there means that they can get milk because the milk can come from there into that station. Oh, and the town grows. The town grew because it's got its basic needs. There are now loads of things over here. Oh, look, there are more houses. The little sort of church garden thing is a bit green. There's more going on. There's kind of a big, exciting building there. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so lovely. Look at it. I want to go. I want to walk around. I want to go down to the ground level and have a look around this place. Okay, right. Get new cards. So, oh, crikey. Right. Many, many, many cheap offers going on. Knock off bridges and knock off rails. Ahoy. Right. What do we need to do now? So there are various things popping in. Oh my goodness me. Right, hang on. Six out of 12. You can go to next level once all the buildings are completed. Right, so now we've got to connect up. Uh, so that needs... Hang on a minute, hang on. That's got one more milk output. That dairy farm has got a milk output. Is there another cheesery? Um, no, that's a wheat farm. Okay, so if we could, we can get... Hang on. Get that like that, and then get that there, and then we do need a thing by that city. So I think, hang on a minute, hang on. Can we put that sort of there-ish? Uh, twist it around a bit more, like, I don't want to knock that building down, like that. So it's connected up. Okay, so we've got three stations now pending being connected up. So send the wheat from there into, hang on, bring it round so we keep that one open in case we need it. Send that to there. Okay, with a freight train. So 503. And then we might use cheap rails just to connect that bit up. Oh, hang on. We've got a new card. Oh, let's have a new card. Cheap rails. Okay, we'll use a cheap rail to go from there to there. So yeah, that's nice and cheap. So there we go. That goes in. So the mill is now making flour, which is connected up to here. That city still doesn't have anything at all. Um... Oh, they've got milk remaining. They've got milk left over from here. They've got one milk. Okay. The only thing is, hang on. They need bread. Where is... Hang on. Where's a bakery? Is that a bakery? That's only producing one lot of bread. Oh, there's the other bakery. Okay, so it's over there. So we're going to need to get a station in over here to connect that up. Um, how about then... That comes in around... Bring that round... That's 51 money. Do we want to make that cheap? No, okay, we're going to be fine with that. So have a basic train going like that to move between those. And then this will use cheap rails. That can go up to there and can connect that up to everything else. So that's... Oh, crikey, that's going to move many goods around. Okay, do that. That's going to be a very busy route. Right, we just got paid. Oh, crikey, it's payday. And the level's complete. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so we connected everything up. I mean, this place here is pivotal. That's a really central, important station. But okay, that's very good. Um, okay, yeah, we finished the level with at least $200 left. Um, oh, we didn't use six cards. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance, is it? Hang on, can we add more? C can we go and add some more things? Can we just... Hang on, cheap rails... Can we just go, hang on, cheap bridges? Because then, might have to get a bridge coming down there. Okay, so build that. Okay, special challenge completed. Okay, there we go. So you can carry on afterwards just to try and yeah, make things a little bit better if you would like to. Wonderful. And that town over there looks busy and bustling. I mean, it's it's a busy old line, this one. It's a busy line, that is. We've got, um, yeah, got loads of cheese. The, the individual things get moved. The actual individual proper things do get moved around. Look at that. The goods are actually being shuffled about. That's flour. There's flour in there. That's going to be milk. Not quite sure what's in that over there. But, I mean, that's the cheese. Oh, that's that's fantastic. Um, and that's going to be... I don't know what that is. 
possibly grain, just like big loads of grain or something. And there we go. The train magically kind of teleports around, but it's fun. They've got clever lifting mechanisms at the station. Okay, go to the next thing. Level complete. We got 12 out of 12 buildings. We definitely had enough money left. And after a little bit of a bodge at the end, we completed that challenge as well. Okie doke. On to the next. I like this. I could get very used to this. This is good. I like this. It's a puzzle game. But it's quite nice and laid back. It's quite sort of friendly. It's a, it's a happy puzzle game. And it looks absolutely fantastic as well. There's a bell. There's a little kind of church bell out the front. Okay, so complete all 18 buildings. Um, end the level with at least $850 left. That could be quite difficult. And create a railroad that on completion immediately connects four resources. Oh, that's going to be quite tricky, isn't it? We did that last time, but inadvertently. Um, I think we did connect four last time, didn't we? Okay, okay, we'll give that a go. So, let's try this level. Um, ooh, stack bonus. When a new railroad supplies multiple buildings once, you get extra money. This requires planning ahead. Oh, no. First, connect the mill to the city. Then connect the other buildings to the mill. The mill, baker, and city will then all be supplied at the same moment. Okay. Okay, so hang on. So, connect the mill to the city. So, the mill isn't going to do anything at all then and then connect the other buildings to the mill. So the mill is then going to start dishing everything out. Okay, right, now I get that. That's fine. Right, I see you with that. That's okay. Um, we've got to end the level with 850 money, but we only start with 750 money. Okay. <laughs> right. That is a surprise. I will be honest. Um, heavy freight train. Goods make 50% more money. Oh. Oh, that's quite good. Hang on. So if we do that, if we connect... Hang on. So what do we have to do here? So we need to connect the mill to the city, like it said in the example there. So connect the mill to the city. That's going to be fine. And then we connect the bakery and the wheat farm. They could possibly... Can they share a, a station? Yes, they can. They can share a station. So we could potentially hang on can we swivel that round a bit like that so they can share a station so we build a station there a station here and a station here and then we connect that oh no that's gonna have to go to there isn't it though that's gonna have to go down this kind of cliff that might not work quite so well um unless hang on maybe it could work they're not going to do anything without the mill the bakery and the wheat farm aren't going to do anything at all without the mill. So could we connect the city to the wheat farm and the bakery? And then after that, connect that to the mill. And then that'll be three resources connected at once. And then if we do put heavy freight train on that line, that means we're going to get 50% more money. I think that's what we do. So hang on, we need the stations in. So pop a station there. And we'll have a station. Um, I don't know. Uh, make it a bit shorter to get over here just there and we'll have another station sort of pointing down the hill connecting to both of those things there like that and then if we connect that up to down here right so maybe cheap rails and yeah don't do a heavy freight train because we're not going to make any money from this connection so cheap rails so from there up to there so 42 money for that and a regular freight train because that isn't going to do anything at all so that's going to move about picking up nothing and then if we use a heavy freight train uh it's like heavy freight train upon completing a railroad i think it said ah okay right so if we then somehow connect that up uh a bit like that's too steep is it okay now that that's for, oh no i don't know what's going on there right, hang on bring that round then bring that on and then bring that a bit round like this is a bit too near to that, isn't it? I've put, I've put it slightly too near. Okay, get rid of that one. Okay, I don't really want to do that, though. I want to bring that just... Uh, bend. The, the, the bend is too tight. The bend is too tight. Um. Okay, right, hang on. Can we... How near to the edge of the map can we build? Blocked. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance. Ah, we could do that. No, we couldn't, because that's still too... Oh, crikey, it's going wrong again. Um... We might just have to accept... Oh, no, that's not too bad. That's okay. So like that. And then... Right, heavy freight train. I see it's a new option on here. Right, so 
heavy freight train, yes, consumes that card, but that will then complete three things. So we're going to get the flour from the, uh, no, hang on, we're going to get the grain from the wheat farm going to the mill, and then that's going to send the flour to the bakery, and the bakery is connected to the city. So it's going to be three things completed in one, which is good. And uh, yeah, we'll have the heavy freight train, please. So that pops in, and we get a stack bonus. Okay, we get a big old pile of money, and ooh. Oh, okay, right. That was quite good. We've now got some more money. Oh, this requires thinking now. This requires using my brain. Okay, right, what cards have we got? Cheap rails, heavy freight train like we did, and new buildings. What do we have? Um, oh. Okay, is that it? So the city still needs milk and it still needs cheese. Okay, so dairy farm to the cheesery. Okay, so if we connect the city to the cheesery, that's going to do nothing at all. Nothing is going to happen. And then we need to connect the dairy farm to the cheesery. And that's two things. That's a stack of two. That's all we can do right now. So that's okay. How many buildings is it? 18 buildings. Good grief. This could take a little while, this one. This could be a little bit trickier than the uh, than the previous couple of levels. So I think we get... Oh yeah, we need stations. So we'll put a station... I think we'll put it sort of there. So it's facing around the edge. So put that as far away as we can. So like that. And then have another station over here. Maybe just heading out like that. Okay. So connect the... Hang on, that needs milk as well, doesn't it? That The city needs milk. Oh, hang on. So if we connect the city to the cheesery, nothing is going to happen there at all. But then we connect the dairy farm to that station with a heavy freight train. That's going to link those three up and it's going to be wonderful. Okay, this is good. Oh, hang on. Hang on. No, not that. Use cheap rails for that because it's a relatively long distance thing. So you save a bit of money. Might as well. Hang on. Bring that in. That's a bit lengthy, isn't it? So bring that in like that. So 34 money to do that. So yes, please. It's a regular freight train. That's going to be okay. And then if we connect that to that, that means that the dairy farm can send milk to the city. That's a tick. We can then get milk on that line going to the cheesery. The cheesery is then on the line to the city. So we get loads of exciting things. Okay, yeah, this is going to be wonderful. So just connect that up. Nice and simple with a heavy freight train. Yes, please. Absolutely. Milk, ahoy, food, ahoy, stack, bonus, cheese, everything. It's wonderful. 25%, 75%. We got a big old pile of money. Okay, we're over $1,000. So now I can see why we have to finish the level with at least 850 left. Um. Okay, right. Cards first. Cheap rails, cheap bridges. Okay, so we might have built some bridges. Uh, right, okay. Next, a lot of buildings. What do we have? Right. Do we get the next lot of buildings in as well? And then we might be able to complete that. We might be able to create a railroad. And on completion, immediately connects four resources. Although this might possibly melt my head slightly. However, these ones over here are done. They're all complete. So these are their own little things. So I imagine now... We're going to be over here. This is all finished. That side of the valley or whatever it is, is lovely and done. The west side, as we're looking, is all sorted. So let's get that as well, then. So drop more buildings in. Um, oh, what was that? Hang on, hang on. What was that? Is that a wheat farm? Right, wheat farm, bakery, cheesery, city, dairy farm, mill. Okay, hang on. So one, two, three, that's going to be six buildings. So that, I mean, that's quite a chunk of progress if we do that. Um, I think that, oh crikey, this is going to be difficult, isn't it? So connect the city to the cheesery. And so the cheesery, I think we make the cheesery our central point of contact. I think that's going to be our important station. So we have a station over there by the little, I mean, it's a city. It's a village right now. It's a tiny, lovely, rural village out in... These kind of quite drab lands. But look, it's a little village. That's not a city. It's a it's a beautiful village with a lovely village church. And it's very pretty. Um, okay, so we have that there. And the, yeah, I think we make this station here our important station. So we put that down. And then we connect everything else. 
up to that station. I think that might be our best course of action. So let's get a station down next to the cheesery. That's going to be the really important station. So that one there. And I think we can connect that up to the... Oh no, hang on. We don't want to connect that up to the town, I don't think, do we? Is that what we want to do? Um, no, I think we can right now. And then... Oh, hang on. How are we going to do this, though? Because things are going to have to connect up to each other. We want to get something so we can get four connections at the same time. So it's going to complete four things. But if we connect, say, that to that... Hang on. That's a dairy farm and a mill. So the dairy farm and the mill are going to connect up to that... So the dairy farm is going to have the cheese. Oh, that might not be for immediate connections. Uh, oh, this. Okay, well, hang on. This My brain is now sort of fizzled out a bit. It's kind of melted ever so slightly. Is that the right thing? Is that what we want to do? Do we want to make that our important thing? Uh, I don't know. Now I'm not entirely sure. Hang on. Let's get this down over here as well. So pop that in as near as we can. So put that like that. And then these are going to need stations as well. So we're going to have to put them in. So put a station, uh, I think, there like that. And then have one uh, there. Well, hang on, can we tilt it round a bit so we can just go down that hill? So put one there. That's okay. So I think we can go round there and connect that up. So that's going to bring the dairy farm and the mill into the mix. So that's going to come down like that and connect to that, and that's fine. So regular freight train onto that. We are spending quite a bit of money. We've got to get all these fancy connections in somehow. I think that can go to there. Um, yeah, the cheesery. That's only going to meet three things. Oh, yeah, this isn't going to work, is it? I don't think. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, right. Hang on. My brain is, my brain is going to fizzle a bit. That's not going to connect four, I don't think. So if we connect the wheat farm... And hang on, connect the wheat farm and the bakery to the cheesery. Nothing is going to happen there at all. That's just not going to fly, is it? Nothing's going to work with that. So cheap bridges, because we're going to just go right down here and make it nice and simple. So cheap bridges, go down there. 23 money, bargain. There we go. So a lovely cheap knockoff, potentially slightly dodgy, insecure bridge made by the cheapest contractor. Um, and then if we connect that to the cheesery... We are going to have many connections. So we're going to get, hang on. We're going to get the flour. No, not. We're going to get the, uh, where is it? So the grain is going to go from there. So the wheat's going to go to the mill. That's one. And then, oh, hang on. Do we need to connect? Hang on. What do they need? Bread, milk, and cheese. There is no bread, milk, and cheese over there yet. So if we then connect that up to the city... I think then if we connect that to the cheesery, everything will be complete. So we're going to get... We'll get a massive stack of points out of that, I think. I think that's what we do. Hang on. So have that coming back round... Uh, I mean, yeah, can we just have it looping round uh, like that on the inner... Do we do it like that? It doesn't matter, does it? I don't think. Uh, we'll have it on that track there. No, on that track. It looks tidier. Do that. So freight train on that. Nothing happens with that at all. Yeah, I think, yeah, if we connect that to that, we're going to get wheat going to there. That's one. And then we're going to get flour going from there to the bakery because it's all connected up. So that's two connections. We're going to get milk going from the dairy farm to the cheesery. That's three. And then we're going to have milk going to the town, which is four. Then we're going to have cheese going to the town, which is five. And then we're going to have, uh, where is it? Yeah, bread going to the town, which is six. So I think yeah, that's going to be a huge amount of connections. Okay, this is good. Um, we might need to use cheap rails for this one. Um, it's got to be here. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a bother, isn't it? Okay, we might spend... Uh, cheap rails doesn't work. Br oh, bridge price and change, but we can still at least have the cheap rails. Okay, so I mean, yeah, look at that. It's an incredibly complicated arrangement of things. So it's only 20 money for the rails, 63 for the bridge. Okay, bother. Maybe we should have saved the money on that one, but never mind. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, not from there, though. I want it from that one to connect to there. Okay, here goes. So this should complete that goal there, and then also give us a massive pile of money. So go there, 
we haven't got a fancy expensive you know, heavy goods train thing which is a bit of a shame but never mind so standard freight train right things are going to fly about all over the place stack bonus is going to go a bit bonkerloids i imagine so plus 25 percent 30 35 40 okay that was that was good and we managed to work that out all on our own that was very good right things are being complete that's filling up okay and then look, the world just looks better. It just looks a lot happier and nicer. Right, we'll take some new cards. Okay, heavy freight train and cheap rails. We'll take some more cards. Two heavy freight trains now and a cheap bridge. And another set of cards. More cheap rails, more cheap bridges. Okay, and the final thing then. The final buildings. Oh, they're going to be a bajillion miles away, aren't they? Oh, this is going to... Oh, hang on a minute. There's a town over there in the corner. There's a city there in the corner. And we need to do this with at least 850 left. So that's complete. We've done that challenge. But now we need to connect that up. So there's a city. It needs bread, milk and cheese. We've got a wheat farm over there. Hang on. So which ones aren't complete? Oh, they're really, really far apart. Oh my word. Okay, this could be a little bit complicated, couldn't it? Um, right, hang on. How are we going to do this? What's the best approach for this? I think we have to connect everything up to the wheat farm, and then the wheat farm is the final thing that goes over here to the city. So let's get a few things round here. So that's going to go. Let's push it over as much as we can so the rail length is as short as possible. So we'll have that like that. That's connecting to that city. And then we need another station. But let's put that at an angle because that's going to need to connect to other things as well. So put that in like that. And the final connection, I think, is going to be that to over there. So that can then get bread and milk and cheese all at the same time. Right, so now how are we going to do this? Because, oh no, it's going to have to connect to different... We're going to have to connect up to different stations, I think. Hang on. So that is... That's a bakery. So the bakery's got to be connected up to the network. So it's going to be connected to that. So we want to do that last so we need to just connect we need to plug all these things now into the rail network the existing network and then kind of spin off that i think oh these are all on the wrong side for this oh dear hang on a minute hang on uh put that there that's fine and then if we just went okay hang on a minute just plug that in like that that's not going to do anything at all so there we go connect that a regular freight train that's going to move some stuff about that's fine so the bakery is now awaiting some flour where is the windmill that we need to use for this one where is it um just there okay so if we then connect that up to the grid it's going to supply that which is only one thing at a time so we don't want to do that just yet um dairy farm to the cheesery there's only one way that can really go i think there's only one way that's going to do anything, but okay, hang on. Could we do this a little bit different? It's going to be a very circuitous route around. It's going to be all over the blooming place. What if... Uh, hang on, they're two distinct networks, aren't they? So hang on. What if we put that... Uh, hang on, where can that go? That could go... Uh, th just put that there for now. This, this might be terrible. It probably is terrible. Connect that up to there. Uh, we've got two cheap rails. I would keep that for a cheap rail. That's going to be a cheap rail. Okay, so a cheap rail. No, just, just regular cost, please. Full price rail. Thank you very much. 837. So now we're not completing our goal there. We're not completing the piggy bank challenge. So how are we going to do this? That might need to connect to that. Unless we connect the dairy farm to here. And then connect the cheesery to down there. That will connect those up. And that's going to complete two at a time. So we could heavy freight train that. And then, hang on, what else do we need? Um, then we need to connect... Oh, crikey. Yeah, that's going to need to connect to the main... We're going to need to sort of link this network up to that one. But these tracks are on the wrong side. Uh, can you go over? Oh, it builds a bridge. Ah, okay. Right. That does make sense. So if we build from there to there, so put a bridge from there to there, that means that the mill is connected to the bakery, but it's still not going to do anything. So cheap bridges, please. So go to there. That's too steep. Okay, no, that, that's fine. That's okay. That's acceptable. Uh, bring that in like that. Regular freight train. Okay, so our cheap bridge is gone. 
We're down to 745 monies. We'd better do something amazing with this. So now the bakery is connected to the mill. And that's connected up to that network there. So that's all sort of linked together. And that's linked together with this. Okay. Right. So we've got now... That's on its own. So the wheat farm is on its own. We might need to connect up the dairy farm and the cheesery. Could we use a heavy freight train for that? And then use the final heavy freight train to connect the wheat farm up to... No, hang on. No, wheat farm to there. Because that's three goods being moved to the city in one go. And then heavy freight train from wheat farm to here to link up to the main grid to bring everything else in. Okay, so this is just going to connect these up. This is fine. So one there and one there. Crikey puzzle games. <laughs> um, okay, so can we, we can at least get a bonus for this though? So there's one connection. That's fine. And then get that coming round to connect. Hang on a minute. No, no, no. Connect up like that. So that's okay. So we'll have, yeah, don't use the heavy freight train. So a regular freight train. So there we go. We're going to get some money from that. That's 70 money. That's not so bad. So now I think all we have to do is use, uh, yeah, cheap rails, cheap bridges, and then use a heavy freight train to connect that to there, for example. So that's going to bring in two lots of stuff. Hang on. Hang on. And the cheese is done, though, isn't it? The cheese is done. Okay, hang on. That's connected to that. Right, this should be fine. Right, hang on a minute. This is all going to be potentially rubbish. Um, Connect that up to there with a heavy freight train. So bring that in. We're going to get a stack bonus. Okay, so those two things went in. And heavy freight train gives us a nice pile of cash. Seven, six, eight. And everything looks wonderful. And now, the final thing. So cheap rails... Oh, no, we haven't got a bridge card. Okay, we might have spent quite a lot of money on a bridge. This is unfortunate, but okay, never mind. So we do that. That's going to bring all three things in from over there into the into the town. We go like that. Heavy freight train is expensive on the old bridge, though. 210, 263, 368. Have we completed the goal? Yes, we have. We've completed the goal. We did it with plenty of money left. Okay. And it's worked. And look, now there's a bustling town over here, up on the hill. There's one down there, a bit lower down. There's you know, got the ones down in the valley, the ones up on high. One over there in the middle. It's wonderful. It looks so pretty. Um, okay, let's complete the level. Level completed. We've got the 18 buildings sorted. And yeah, we did it with you know, way more money than we needed, really. And we got a lovely star as well, which is wonderful. Yay, go us. Oh, and there we go. As we suspected, there are three levels in the demo and we've completed them all. So there we go. We've done the demo. But look, we get a little sneak preview as to what might be coming up in the full game. And it looks like there are different kind of biomes, different regions. So where we were was kind of, you know, just sort of temperate grasslandy kind of places. There were cows grazing and little flowers and all that kind of stuff. But but this looks a little bit more deserty. Look, it looks more deserty. There's kind of like a little oasis y looking thing over there, and they're definitely sort of more deserty buildings going on. And there's a kind of a big oil thing down here as well, so that's quite exciting. I bet there's going to be an ice one as well, probably an icy sort of a colder biome or something, maybe a jungle biome, something like that. That's quite exciting. Okay, do you know what? That was wonderful. That was really, really good. I like the way the game worked. I like the puzzles. I thought it was okay in terms of a puzzle game. It wasn't completely, utterly mind-bendingly complicated. Some points I'd have to sit and think about what we were doing and how to best do things, but that's okay. We sort of muddled through. And when you think it through a bit, it's sort of okay. It makes sense and we could work it out. But yeah, there was no point where I thought, do you know what? I have no idea how to do this. I'm completely, utterly lost. Let's just back out and start again or whatever. It was you know, it was achievable. It was achievable with a little bit of putting your mind to it, which is kind of the point of a puzzle game, isn't it? So I thought the level of challenge was pretty good and it looks amazing. It looks completely fantastic. I'm besotted with the appearance of it. I think it just looks wonderful. It looks adorable. It's like playing with a great big kind of playset type thing with all the trains. There's so much detail. There's so much detail going on in every little kind of building and tree and station and train and everything else. There's so much happening. So it looks wonderful. 
and it plays well, it is fantastic. So I really enjoyed this, station to station. I think we will keep an eye out for that and maybe possibly come back to it in the future when it's you know a bit more so developed and there's more to do because we have completed the demo so we might possibly pop back to it if it requires popping back to it, it might be the yeah you know, we've kind of seen how the game works and we don't really want to go and spoil it for people because you know the part of a puzzle game part of the challenge is completing the puzzles but if i go on and do it then people are going to go oh okay i don't do the puzzle game because somebody else has done it so yeah maybe it depends it depends on how it works and if there's anything more than what we've seen are there more game mechanics, more different cards, more different kind of you know, uh, buildings, de delivering different resources, all that kind of stuff. If there's a load of different stuff, like on these biomes, we might pop back to it. I do not know, but yeah, at some point in 2023, we might well see this again. I'm not quite sure. But do you know what? If we do, it shall be a lovely, lovely treat because it looks wonderful. But yeah, we've completed the demo, so I think we will wrap things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. I've really, really enjoyed this. It's been wonderful. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense and gubbins that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. We found a whale. Pandas. Hello, panda friend. Oh, you're adorable. Good deer. There's two deer. Penguin, penguin, penguin. Peacock. Oh, we've got an owl. We've got manta rays. Parrots. And there we go. Beavers. Yay. Yes, it was an eagle. It's a turtle. We've got a narwhal. We've got frogs. This is... I love this. <laughs>